Hi everyone, it's me Alex and uh, I'm going to come to you today with how to make an altar cloth. Um, if you don't actually happen to have a sewing machine, this stuff, um, which is uh, the heat and bond, no sew hemming, it's great. It works. Not only is it good to have um, for altar cloths, it's also great to have around the house just in case your pants or something fall apart and you need to hem it really quick. Um, it's really easy to use. Of course, you would always read the directions. And, like me, I've decided to put my scissors someplace where they don't belong. Hold on, let me go get my scissors. Okay. Just to cut this open because I put tape on it. That's a dumb one. That's okay. Mm. The stuff cuts real easy. Um, of course you would just follow the directions on there. Preheat your iron to the silk setting. But let's just say you happen to throw the carton away and you don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna make this video for y'all. Um, it says that you're supposed to pre-wash your fabrics, um, but I didn't do that this time since this is a test piece of fabric and I'm just going to do a whole bunch of different things on here and I didn't feel like wasting um, a whole thing of water and detergent just to pre-wash one piece of fabric um, without fabric softener. But you would just wash your stuff without your regular detergents without fabric softener and then you would just preheat your iron to the silk setting like it says and then press your hem down to the size you want and the no sew heat and bond stuff comes in different sizes depending on your hem size and you just iron it down first just do real quick nothing real big and special <laughs> Before I um, tend to do most of my um, altar clothes beforehand, I would normally iron the whole thing, then hem the whole thing, then sew the whole thing, and then sew them all at one time. And when you're working with this stuff, don't do it in longer than, in, than 10 inches or so in length, or since this is a really short piece, I just cut it real quick to match. And then you just slide this under here, just like so, and then you press it down, and then you just press it and hold it for about three to five seconds, so one, two, three, four, five, and then slide it, one, two, three, four, five, and slide it till you're done, one, two, three, four, five. And see my kitty? Good. No, you're not doing no. That's my kitty. No. You know, mess up the box. Just like that. And then you turn it over. And press one, two, three, four, five, slide and press. Two, three, four, five, slide and press. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. And then just wait for it to cool. And then you would do that on all four sides and let it cool. Okay. And as you can see, when it starts to cool, because you can pry it apart until it's cool, it actually does set. Now, the thing about this stuff is, is that once it's uh, actually um, done, it gets really, it gets really hard, um, and you can't go back and machine stitch over this because you'll mess up your needle. Um, of course, if you can hand stitch, and you can go on this one with your face. Um, of course, if you can hand stitch or machine stitch, I recommend doing that um, 
as I think that will probably stay a little bit better in the washing machine. I haven't washed any of mine yet because I just haven't had the need to. Um, but, um, of course, if you just have this stuff hanging around, you can always just put it back on there and keep going. Um, the next thing that I was going to show you guys how to do is, let's just say you just have this piece and you're done hemming it all the way around. What do you, what do, you do next? Of course, you can just leave it. Um, pardon me, I'm, my morning's been crazy. Of course, you can just leave it like it is and keep going. If you want to add some decoration, you can do that. My favorite thing to do is to embroider. Now, most people are like, embroidery, are you serious? No way. It's stuff's so hard. It's actually really easy. And what you do is you just get real lazy like me and get a book that has transfer. And let me see if I can find a transfer that still has the ink on it. Not be that A or that E. It might be. I do this F. We're going to use an S today. Yeah, that actually is an S. And then you heat this one up to this. When you use these, follow the directions. This one actually says to heat it up to whatever. Heat the iron up to whatever um it is. The um, fabric is. So if you're working with silk, put it on silk. If you're working with wool, do wool. If you're working with something like that, cotton. This is cotton. So I'm just going to wait. And it's heated up. And normally you're supposed to wait five minutes, but it's completely heated before, so I'm just going to cheat. And then you just press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And since this transfer is a little bit old, I'm going to. Leave it on there just a little bit more because I'm not going to use this transfer again like that. And then you just lift. And set that down. And there you go. See? Now, to actually embroider, there's actually a couple of techniques. And I'm going to um, make another video to show you that. Um, but uh, I do have to say like um like I was saying when it's done cooling down this stuff well, it's not done cooling down since so I actually sat there and ironed it again it kinda is pretty tough once it's completely completely cool alright if you have any questions or anything like that I'm gonna come down again if you have any questions or anything like that of course just ask um if I rushed through anything because I felt like that maybe I rushed um, you can always ask me to clarify. I can always do this again. I have plenty of scrap pieces of uh, fabric running around. Alright, thanks.